Uh, last week, uh, Musk insulted Oregon Democratic Senator Ron Wyden on Twitter uh, after the senator called for a billionaire's income tax. But then something else happened. Uh, Wyden's son came to the defense, but not of his father, but of Musk, saying that since most legislators have never built anything in their lives, it's easier to haphazardly try and tear stuff down. Uh, joining us now at his side of the story is Adam Wyden, son of Senator Ron Wyden, founder of ADW Capital. You're in Florida. Uh, any plans for Thanksgiving with the fam, uh, Adam, or, or you, you might stay down, stay down in low-tax Florida? Um, I'm actually having uh, Thanksgiving uh, with my in-laws. Um, <laughs> okay. That's why I've had Thanksgiving the last few years. I think that we've learned one thing from from uh, the, the, the recent three, four, five years, and that's that families differ. And and I'll bet you still love your father. I bet your father still loves you, and and, and you agree to disagree. Uh, and. Um, I can't nominate anyone for Time Man of the Year, but I have to admit, when I saw that, I was like, who is this guy? Uh, I, I want him on the show. That was a pretty blunt um, uh, tweet that you sent out. Why does he hate us, the American dream, so much, referring to your father and then actually saying him and his cronies have never really built anything, and you might be able to, uh, to actually compound your growth faster than your dad and his cronies can confiscate it? Did you think before saying that? And have you heard from uh, Senator Wyden, your dad? No, I, I think we have a mutual respect for one another. And there's obviously a natural separation between church and state. Um, you know, those, <laughs> comments, those comments on Twitter were made a little bit tongue in cheek. Twitter is a platform where uh, you can get voices out there and uh, get a discussion going. But I mean, look, the reality is um, I have an enormous amount of respect for my father. He's done a lot of great things for this country, whether it be for senior citizens, uh, the disabled, the environment, uh, net neutrality. Um, but, you know, obviously this is an issue that you know, is, hits very close to home. You know, I started my fund with $400,000 on the second floor of my mother's home. Uh, you know, I've been very fortunate in life. You know, I, I got my education paid for, but I built everything brick by brick. And, you know, as it relates to the legislators, I mean, I think, you know, it's clear to me that the people that are making uh, these policy decisions have never uh, experienced the up and downs of, of running a business. And they don't understand, um, you know, what it takes to build a business. And, you know, I'm obviously very fearful that the culture of innovation and, uh, you know, building these world beating companies, whether it be Amazon, Netflix, Google, Tesla. I mean, we are the envy of the rest of the world. People come to this country to build amazing businesses. And I want that to continue going forward. Uh, I don't know what Elon's going to pay in taxes on the stock he's already sold. I, I have an idea, probably, that eventually it's going to end with a B. And then I think about Bernie Sanders and, and just, I guess Bernie's contributed to the dialogue in this, uh, in, this, in this country. But just in terms of contributing to the overall well-being, do you think it, it's even in the same ballpark? That's why I don't understand the sanctimonious... A sort of smug attitude that we see from some of these legislators who really, as you say, have never built, most of them, I mean, there, there's exceptions, Mark Warner and others, but most of them haven't built anything, ever. And they, they go to the Thanksgiving dinner with Tupperware to bring things away, but it didn't even, it didn't bring any apple pie or anything. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think um, it's, I think that the, the dialogue needs to, to get to a higher level, and I think you know, people in, um, in, in places of power on the, on the private sector need, you know, to discuss, uh, you know, things that can, you know, help engender capitalism as opposed to vilifying it. I mean, if you look at Australia as an example, they have a super fund structure where it's, it's governmentally mandated that uh, employers have to, to buy into a, a 401k and then gives, uh, you know, median income households the opportunity to invest in alternatives. It's called the super fund structure. They've compounded about nine and a half percent a year. And my friend Alex von Furstenberg has authored a uh, white paper with Kevin Hassett that he's been trying to circulate among uh, legislators, which helps build wealth among median uh, income households. And we think that this is a way to engender wealth creation among median American uh, households. So there are, there are ways to do this and fix this. They just need to people need to listen and the discussion needs to come to a higher level. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.